Our captains tonight are number 16, Sering Dorji for Timpu City FC and number 66, Jimmy Tenzin for Paro FC. And we are off. Target man, often unable to do so. Success this time. Number 18, Furpa receives that. And the referee has called it. And this is surely an absolute game changer. He must be confident he can do it again. And he lines up, runs forwards, and opts for the exact same shot. Beautifully struck. And the goalkeeper can't believe he's let that one in. Two defenders. That's a nice ball whipped in. Looking for his man, but the goalkeeper kept him under pressure. Ball out of play. I have to say, the defender did poorly there. Looking for his man. Finds the head of Karma, but can't do anything with it at that time. Strong attacking play throughout this game by Timpu City. Seems to be the faster team, but he's beating the defender there, and that is beautifully taken. Gets round the defender, leaves the goalkeeper with absolutely no chance. And this just could not be a better first half for Paro FC. Topped them there, beautifully taken goal. And that's excellent play there by Nima, but then he loses the ball in a dangerous position, and that's gifted to number 24. He will not be happy with that. Dower, the Ryan Giggs of Timpu City, unable to make it work there. Just floated over the bar there, and the whistle goes for half time. And we are off. Let's see how Timpu City modify their power and their play and their style. Feeling a little flustered in the final 20 minutes as Paro FC put the pressure on with the counter attack. But that's an incredibly strong start. You just cannot have a better start than that for Timpu City. This game has a lot of life left in it. There are goals in this game. Stunning strike. He made the run. Created that all by himself. Walk out of here with a head tiled high and all three points. And that's a lovely ball with the short pass. Lovely ball forwards to number seven, Chencho. Goalkeeper knows that he needs to defend, but he exposed himself, left himself open to the lob. And he'll be thanking his lucky stars there. That ball didn't just go over his head and into the net. There was no way he was going to make it. Opposite for the soft one on the left. And that is beautifully taken cross, well received and perfectly headed into the net. And this is a nightmare for Paro FC. Timpu City able to get two goals back in the first eight minutes of this the second half. It's two goals now in less than 10 minutes for Timpu City. So they can regroup City. And that's a nice piece of play through the midfield there as he gets around his man, threads the perfect pass. That's another nice cross into the box. But they're putting him under real pressure there, the Paro defenders. But he's able to find Kinga. Gets past his man. What an opportunity. Well taken. That was coming for quite some time. Kinga and Kensho having a lot of success in enemy territory. But it's Kinga who finds the back of the net. That is an excellently taken strike. Options to the left, to the right. Ops for the right. They're arriving in the box. Is the, a shot on? And the shot is on. And it's on target with the goalkeeper. Read it well. Some call the Ryan Giggs of, of Bhutan. Skillful fleet of foot. And good with crosses. And that's a nice option with the short cross on the ground. They were expecting it in the box. But no. And he thumps that in. Who 
hoofs that into the back of the net. And surely the game is gone. As you imagine there'll be a little of. And the referee opting for yellow cards rather than the reds. They smell blood. You feel they want as many goals as possible. The battle for the Northwest is on, and that is an excellently weighted ball into the box by Paro FC. Really well done. And you can hear the celebrations. This really was a fantastic battle today. And it's celebrations for Timpu City, commiserations for Power FC. It finishes Timpu City 4, Power FC 2.